Hey guys, Mark here, Oregon Greybeard. Uh, a company called Free to Fly reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to do an unboxing and review of one of their RC cars, to which I said, yes, of course. I uh, love RC cars, I've been into them since the uh, mid 90s. Took a break for a while, just started getting back into them and uh, thought this would be a fun review. Uh, so this is a WPL military truck they sent to me. Unfortunately, I already did the unboxing and an outdoor uh, review. Uh, but my camera, which I've had for like five years now, is uh, starting to kind of give me some problems. So I switched out the SD card, hoping uh, that fixes it. So now I'm redoing the unboxing just to go with the video. So if you see some dirt on the tires, it's because I've already taken it out and had some fun with it. Now this is a newer version. Um, so there are there have been some upgrades and modifications to this. Uh, from some of the other videos that I've seen on YouTube. I know Kevin Talbot just uh, did a review video uh, of his, but he'd had his for uh, about a year, I guess, before he uh, finally completed everything and put together reviews. So you'll know in his video, uh, the drive lines kept falling off, the uh, leaf springs kept falling out of their perch. Well, with uh, the new model, uh, they've, they've fixed all those issues. Here's manual, pretty basic. Here is the truck. Here's the remote. And up front, under the hood, is a single 18650 battery. Uh, there is also a USB charger that goes with it, which is off camera, because I forgot to put it back in the box. Uh, as you can see, the, the drive lines have been uh, updated uh, from where they were before. They use a standard sort of universal joint on the axle side uh, but on the output side they have this socket uh, which allows the drive line to move in and out and then also on the leaf springs before they just had a screw or a rod that went through there uh, and a little hook on the leaf spring uh, but now the leaf springs actually actually mounted so there isn't a way for it to come off and same with the drive line uh, these aren't popping off like they were on the previous models. Uh, so underneath you can see you've got some fairly good size uh, axles and uh, leaf springs output from the uh, motor there. A couple faux gas tanks and some good detail. The whole underside, the black uh, plastic is textured uh, like diamond plate. And then flipping it over, you can see inside the, the cab, we've got some detail there, some good opportunities, you know, for some painting. If you were a modeler, we got some little little mirrors uh, that nicely hinge out of the way, uh, exhaust stacks. And then on the front, we've got some pretty cool details as far as a uh, winch and, uh, you know, some pretend clevises there. Now the headlight buckets uh, do have a hole in the back so you could run an LED through there and these fog lights do have a hole in the back for LED um, you would need to cut the cut the front out so that's actually something I'm, I'm planning on doing. We'll try to get some lights on this. In the back there are uh, two little fake tail lights back there uh, but they're molded in so there's no holes for LEDs uh, yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's basically it to get the hood open. I found that it's easiest to kind of slide the hood forward or push the grill in a little bit and then lift it up. So now we've got our single 18650, uh, which we can plug in here. I'm not sure if that's charged or not, but we'll turn the remote on and turn the truck on. There's a little power switch right down there on the bottom and yeah it doesn't look like the battery's charged up but here you can see the steering which is just a full left uh, full right that's about it for the truck uh, there are lots of spare parts out there for these there is actually quite a big following or a group of people that you know that like to modify these so I'm sure if you do a little research out there uh, you could find groups like that uh, the tires are pretty grippy for what they are um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, 
uh, we'll cut now to the uh, outdoor driving footage. Again, the camera's been kind of wonky, so I know a lot of the footage that I shot has been lost, but I should be able to piece together enough that you have a pretty good idea uh, about what it's capable of. And then uh, we'll, we'll revisit this soon, maybe in another uh, month or so. We'll get some upgrades done to it. I'll film, I'll film all the upgrades. Uh, you know, and just kind of see what we can do with it. I'm really interested in in uh, painting it, maybe going more for like an olive drab, uh, and then, you know, painting a lot of the details uh, just to make it look cool. So, anyways, let's go drive it.